Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. It looks like we're in for another Throw Nashville Under the Bus song. And it isn't Nashville per se, because Nashville as a city is very cool. Although it's incredibly trafficking now, because, I don't know, the population's grown about 30% or something like that in the last five years or whatever. But I am wearing my Nashville hat that I got down there. And uh, this is Heather Miles. Nashville's gone Hollywood. And I can attest to that. I've seen it. And we've all seen it. And it was requested by Lyndon Nicholson. But those of you who don't know Linda, Linda knows her stuff when it comes to music. She just does. The comments she leaves, the suggestions she makes, I see them all, of course, Linda. But folks, when you're interacting, I'm sure those of you who have interacted with her have picked up on real quickly, oh, this girl knows her stuff. And um, I mean, I've gone to school on some of what, what you say, Linda, so thank you for that. Here we go. Long way in Loretta, we're always on the radio. But everything has changed since then. They say it's for the good, but I think it's a crying shame. Nashville's gone Hollywood. You won't need the steel guitar in your watered down rock and roll. Nice. Oh, your watered down rock and roll. That is so much of what's what it is. And now it's becoming rap. Uh, it is what it is. Call it what you want, but she's calling it what it's not. That was a pretty good line right there. Oh, you in the movies, you'll have your radio. That's all right. If you're young and sexy, you'll be rolling in the dough. You'll sell a million records, so that must mean you're good. Move on over, Ernest of Nashville's gone oh. Hollywood. I wonder who wrote this. Love that steel. I'm still gigging on Broadway, making rounds on Music Row. Hoping maybe someday I'll hear my song on the radio. But they say I'm too country. I wouldn't change it if I could. Cause I think it's a crying shame. Nashville's gone Hollywood. Uh, you know, Chet Atkins Drive, isn't that on Music Row? Isn't that right near the circle on Music Row when it's where the, you know, record companies are? Was that 16th and 17th or 17th and 18th? Look at how fun the steel is. The way that steel was done was so well done for this song, so well chosen because the way they brought it in, it was almost like a substitute for the way they do the watered down rock guitar. You can't mistake steel for anything else. That is what country and the fiddle so much are about instrumentally. And that, da, 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 like that, that was, you can have fun with steel right there. You don't have to keep it out of your songs. Put it in there. I, when I was a rock dude and I'd hear a country song, this is when I was younger, 
Steel used to anger me because I'm like, what is that instrument? Like, I didn't understand it. It didn't belong in rock. And so it wasn't in rock. Now, flash to the future, if there's not steel in a country song, I'm usually disappointed. I'm not prescribing it should be in a song. I'm just saying when I hear it in a song, I have never once objected to it and said, oh, that doesn't belong there. Steel belongs in it. I don't care what you're doing. It belongs there. You could throw a little bit of fiddle in there too or whatever, even harmonica, but, uh, and mandolin. I mean, things that are symbols, uh, emblems of country music, but I like what she did. I like the way she sang it. I like her accent. I like the way she came on strong. It wasn't a mean-spirited song. It was still one of deference. They brought in Ernest Tubbs in there. You had your choice of people, but one of the forerunners in the faith we call traditional country music, and there it is. But Heather had a good sensitivity to this. Not a weak woman. You could tell the way she sang that and came after it, but she's not, you know, this thing that struck me too personality-wise. As much as you can glean from a three or four minute song, the way a performer sang it, is um, she's just after truth, her truth. And my truth happens to agree with it. So, yeah, I mean, it's the, the landscape changes in life. I get that part. Somebody who gets that hit record, you know, Kelsey Ballerini or whomever, I'm happy for them, for them and their family that there's success there. It's a dream fulfilled. You don't know the path you're going to take to get to success if you're even going to get there. Most don't. In fact, the labels, it used to be, and probably, I don't know if the, the revenue and the models are still the same, but for every 10 artists they signed, nine lost money for the label. And it was the one that went large that basically subsidized the label to keep bringing in other artists. So if you can make if you're one of those superstars that makes it, you know, good for you. But what I see them branding as country nowadays, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir because look at what we do on the channel. So you guys know. But Linda Nicholson, really good find on this one. I'm wearing my net. Hold on. Even though I like a lot of Nashville, no, I'm not going to do that. I do like a lot of artisans, their songs in Nashville. But it's just when you look at the the CMAs, um, you're like, really? really? This is where we're going? Can't we just keep it simple? Can't we keep it non-political? Can't we keep it about the music? Give people a break from everyday arguing in life, whatever they're arguing about, and just make it about the music. But, all right, I'm going to come in. Uh, my favorite part in this was probably the steel, the way it went out in this song. Uh, even in the middle, there were parts where it just elongated and kept it going, that feel going in it when Heather came back in with her lyrics and singing. Um, you know, concept alone, 9.1 is what struck me. Just was. I'm in favor of it. I love the homage paid. I mean, Chet Atkins Drive, and they just said, you go in, you know, somebody goes in, she went in and they said, I'm not country enough. So she's gigging on Broadway, and, uh, but she, you know, or... It's too country. She was too country, is what they said. And I'm like, with Chet Atkins Drive sign right behind you, she's too country? Why do we have Chet Atkins there? Anyway, there it is, folks. I'm amped up. All right. Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country and keep keeping it country.